Oh, there. Oh, shoot. Get him, Joe. We got an alpha. Got a little baby. Another little baby. Bro. Oh. He's active. He's acting up. Let's tally him up, guys. i never seen somebody so in tune climbing a tree just catching frozen iguanas like that. Insane. All, all right, guys, that's it right there. Special shout outs to FX Air Guns and Paramount Air. Oh my God. Hyper orange. Oh. Ooh. The finesse. The finesse. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. Definitely. Six. What's going on here, guys? Iguana Man. I'm chilling with Joe. What's going on, Iguana Man? We winter we went out, summer we went out, spring. I, I recently seen some of those old videos. You got some crazy, crazy catches, happen, bro. Man. How do you do this, man? You know, you just have to want to do it. Afraid. We filmed a couple of videos, and this guy right here is an absolute iguana catching machine. I mean, he is on them. We're actually going to be playing some of the best catches that Iguana Joe has done. Joe's in town tonight. We're hanging out, so... Without any further ado, like and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the clips. Yes, he's got his finger missing on the left hand. Oh, yeah. He's limping. Okay, so, yeah, I'll just step out of it. Got him. I don't know how you do it, bro. It works oh, shoot. every time. <laughs> Oh, wow. Shook the branch, it fell, and I caught it. Wow. Beautiful little baby girl. So this is a baby iguana right here. This is one of many hundreds of iguanas that are lit. Oh, look at the, oh, wow. Florida is just wild, y'all. Kind of fungus that grows in the in the moisture between the crevices. It's like dead skin, maybe, yeah, that's getting eaten by mites. Yeah. Wow, look at him. Oh, dude, he's exhibiting Dominant. Dominant behavior. Trying to attract. Yeah. He's trying to scare us too at the same time. Oh, oh wow. Look how he slides he down. Hold on, wait. Look. What is he what is he doing? Wow. He's doing the iguanic slide. Wow. Look at the colors on him. He's got a bob tail, bro. What the heck? It's got a bob tail. That to his tail. That's a African king toad. It's a king toad? Where is oh, it? It's trapped in Florida's infrastructure. Here, you ready? Raj, you can do this. Oh, oh, it's so Did you get him? Oh, shoot. You got him. It's been stuck in there for days. I'm finally rescued. Silly fry. Now look at his shoulders. Look at his shoulders. They have glands that secrete toxins. Whoa. That are irritating to humans who touch it and predators who eat them, but deadly to dogs and cats who might ingest them. Yeah. That's toxin. That's toxic ooze that they get, they um, secrete it from their gland. But most things also don't. Wow, wow. So That's cats insane. and dogs yeah. will eat these things and turn up dead. And... Oh, shoot. He's on, baby. <laughs> Wild man style. He's beautiful oh. just like the other one. Oh, yeah, it's a big female. Holy straps. Oh, my gosh. They, they won't yeah, will. Think so? Yeah, she's eating right now. Nice. Look at that. Dude, feel her. Wow. Look how fat she is. Look at that iguana hanging out by the dumpster. Damn, he's just sitting there at the tree like he's a chameleon or something, or like a charmeleon. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Yo, what on earth? I didn't mean to do that to you, buddy, but now you have a distinctive characteristic. Wow. He's twisted around and he, he ripped it off himself. Going for the body, but he just was like, I gotta get away, I gotta get away. And this is exactly what their tails are designed for. That's gonna immediately start growing back. Part of being this uh, prey Whoa. animal. They're designed to disconnect if animal is in danger from a predator who's gonna eat it. I mean, full speed though. Nah, I think you could make it. Nick or something, bro. Hey. Where'd he go? Oh, he went. 
Oh, there. Oh, shoot. Get him, Joe. Dude. Tail. Living under there. Like, the, there's holes in here. Just like a chain link fence. They're going to end up getting too big. This guy got too big for his own burrow. He tried to go in one he's been going in since he was a baby. He's getting too big. He doesn't know no better. Oh my he's soon not going to be able to fit there at all. Of course, where are the burrows at for all these iguanas, guys? And I think I just found out where they're at, y'all. That one cuts off with the rock. Okay. It's got around the bush, maybe. So he's starting to move the leg when I'm... Yep, there you go. He's already he uses his back legs first. He's right there. Yeah, he ran. Oh, whoa, whoa, there he is right there. He's right there. He's straight ahead. Uh, he ran, so. He's going there. He's going up the tree. Oh, no way. Oh, you are a legend, bro. Holy. You think I thought I was going to catch it. God. Even Eric's <laughs> impressed with that. He's like, all right, that's. Oh, right here's good. Right here's good. Oh wow. Look at these guys. <laughs> but yo, yeah, that's a definite healthy, healthy. Human females want to be like, oh, I want to look bright colors and look pretty and all. Oh, his tail ripped off. Oh wow. That's his stubby little tail, all orange. It's you, orange. It, it oh. ripped off at orange. So it grew back orange. That's crazy, man. Come on now. Like, that primitive, bro. It's like, you're like, you're like turning into an iguana yourself chasing it, bro. I mean, what else are you going to do if you don't have any of the tools? All you got is your feet and your hands. That's how a lot of the natives used to hunt iguanas back in the days, too, man. That's literally, like, I've, I've seen native, like, yeah. people from uh, Honduras, Nicaragua, or yeah. Honduras, Mexico. They have their own methods that seem to have come down a slightly primitive way. They use sticks. They climb the trees. Mm -hmm. And I, I've had a few moments where I climb. There's been times, like just like today, when I was going to catch that iguana, I was fortunate that the yeah. iguana that had gotten away had fallen right down. But that's when I'm alone. That's like a self alley oop. Take it out the tree. You jump down. Go. Yeah, it, it, yeah, dude. Like, it's like the only way. The more people you have on the hunt like that, the chase. Like you can get a lot of them. People notice you. They recognize you. They say, you're a John Rashi iguana man. They were creating that garbage bat, garbage can full yeah, of the They're picking iguana. up the frozen iguanas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. They, besides the frozen time, I mean, you'll see like four or five people around a tree looking up. One Somebody. person's climbing the tree, and they're yeah. doing exactly what I thought to do, like, with my own alone thought processes, which is climb up the tree, and shake the branch that the iguana's in, and those claws, I mean, look at this. Yeah, what do you... Not only do they have these really, sh like, pretty dang sharp claws, but the entire length of their oh, wow. fingers is like, feel that. Imagine that gripping onto wood. Like, so It's like it, sandpaper it's like... that's sharp, but these clasp tightly closed. And man, the, the, the struggle of trying to get them out of a tree just by shaking, it like takes for they hold on like they <laughs> cling on for dear life. You know that thing's amazing. got a you know that thing's got a mouthful of razor sharp teeth, man. Aren't you I've been Are you not twice. ever afraid of getting it? the one type of fear that makes me excited and it makes me happy <laughs> and it makes me go it, toward it. May, danger. Yeah, yeah. It makes it's the type of fear that makes you go toward it. Is it gives you like you, you, you like work on agility. Yeah, dude. Agility, and it's like, like like climbing that tree like that day the, the, oh the iguanas God. were frozen. Like it keeps yeah. you on your toes. So, so real quick, we're gonna talk about actually one of the biggest highlights that we had. Right quick, it does keep you on your toes, keeps you stuff. One of the biggest highlights we had was in that tree, dude. Like you were talking about, right? Dude, that was the tree. What did we get? About twenty of them in ten minutes or something like that. And we would have had a lot, lot more, right? Like. Two of them right there. Right there, bro. Nice. Oh, another one just fell. Oh. Oh, it got into the water. Oh, no. Oh, no. It just fell. Dude, they're still falling. Let's look up. Oh, there's one right there, dude. Where? There's two of them. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, kind of. Oh, yeah. shoot. Oh, he's coming back. It's yeah. 55. So there's another big one right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shoot. 
can't do. Another one fell into the water. Oh Ooh. shoot! They're they're on this. They're all. Check this out. Going crazy. Alright, I guess I'll just be the iguana holder. There's two big ones. Look, that one. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Go 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 go! Oh shoot! Grab three of them down there, dude. Oh, you guys. I got scratched a lot. You got I'm grabbing iguanas like. Oh shoot! There's a little one. And I'm here. I got him. Oh, there's water in my shoe. I stepped in it. Oh no! Oh, no. oh got the big boy. Pretty big. Another little baby, another little baby. Bro. He, he's a pretty big boy. All right, yeah. guys, that's it right there. That's the final haul. We just got all these iguanas from that tree right there. It's insane. We, there's probably 20 more, 30. Including the little babies that are in there. Oh, uh, heat source. Yeah. Sun, rocks, and his environment. Situation for him. Not only us, but the weather. He, this isn't what they're used to. They can't. They can't survive this, the Florida yeah. cold spike. If you know about the um, breeding habits, the timing, the gestation periods, how many eggs that one female iguana can produce, and then how many male iguanas are reproducing with those female iguanas, it is an ins insane amount of population growth. This might be the most rapidly growing and populating invasive species in the entire country. This is a Cuban night anole. I've been wanting to catch one of these forever. I finally get an opportunity. I gotta be careful, they're bite. I don't know if they react. Cold-blooded, they're gonna be just like iguanas right here. I got my first Cuban night anole! Eyes, like a chameleon. He's Yo. cold, he's cold just like an iguana. Oh, he's just like a little baby. These things have inverted teeth. They're predatory um, lizards. If they bite, it is incredibly painful. They dig into you like a moray eel. Me, they are so nimble. They are so fast, and they're predatory. So you're kind of scared to grab them. Uh, iguana about the size of this anole. Yeah, family nice. reunion. They're gonna be like the predator and the, and the herbivore. He's trying to break into this property. That's amazing how they're like the same size. We got a, we got a, we got a uh, herbivore. Well, I'm opportunistic right here. Wow, the Look Cuban night anole. And they're roughly about the same. So well, the iguanas are usually longer. They got longer tails, but roughly they're about the same. Like, yeah, this one's aged. This is about, this is really cool. Look at that. Let me see him. And he was he was up there pretty cold, huh? Yeah. alert right there, boy. Huh? You see him? Yeah. Hold this spot, man. There he is. There you go. Oh! Oh, he's slippery. Oh! Whoa! Hold on, Joe. This just got real. Yeah, this just it got real for real, son. Look at him. The parking lot is right over there. This guy's right here. He is not happy. Wow. I got this one. I knew I'd find one. Oh, slide, slide. Show their mouths like they're going to bite. They don't actually do it. Yeah. That is so cool, guys. You see him? No way. It's like, eh, leave me alone. Oh, whoa, whoa. They're slippery. Slippery little guys. Wow. They're wet the and they're cold. Of the complex that we were staying at, which is basically a beach hotel that was turned into a recovery center. It happens, happens. Who cares? Right, Isn't right, that a good right. attitude? Yeah. I don't know. Right, right, Anyway, right. so you got the chain link fences. You chase the iguana. It's too big to fit through the fence. It can't climb fast enough. You just got to kind of have the balls to grab a creature that's running away from you and that can bite. This reptile is like very, very strong. It's like they were pretty robust. They learned after I grabbed one and it stopped fighting that once you have it in your hand. And when I learned that, I kind of abused that power, so to speak. And I began like Whoa. skating everywhere <laughs> and biking everywhere and walking everywhere and just like I have this iguana. Instinctively, right? Instinctively chase. You Instinctively chase like go Rambo. after them primitively. And yes. you just you just kind of I guess over time you learn their movements, you learn their habits you know or they, you, their you strategy. They you learn their strategy. You learn how they react to you moving. Yeah. And then you learn how to react to their moving. Like, for example, there's something that I can tell you that probably no one else can because of how many times I've tried and failed and how many times I've tried and succeeded. 
if you chase an iguana to a tree, it will never run straight to the tree and go up. 100% of the time, the iguana will go around the tree to climb away from the uh, the incoming the threat, threat. The threat, yeah. He's, he's... And this gives you a crucial window of opportunity to advance to the trunk of the tree as they're going around and climbing up to reach uh, and grab them. And uh, sometimes you have to jump up. It depends on timing, because timing is everything. And, and then you kind of know in like which direction you want to lead him into mm -hmm. and try to put him in a situation where either he's climbing up the tree, he's stuck in a fence, or he's... You just out, or you outrun them. You know, it's a, if it's you if there's cannot, an open in, a foot field, race, in an open field, you they can out run way too fast. But if it, they get tired, yeah, and then you can grab them. Just like that one today, where like it was, it went through and it got to the fence into the water. Yeah, he was very close to being tired and running just. I mean, one of the, the respiratory probably, system. It's probably one of the kinks in the green iguana's armor right there. Is that that fact that he said is stamina is, is not a reptilian. Short areas, benefit. burst of speed, quick escape routes. They're gonna dominate on their like basically eight out of ten times, right? Or maybe Nine for you, for you, five out of ten though. It's fifty fifty. Either it really depends. Like if it's up next to a bank, on ten out of ten, he'll, he's got me. He's gone. If it's up to a tree, I might have seven out of ten. If it's near a burrow or a fence where he can get through and then go to a side I can't get to, probably eight out of ten, he's got me. Yeah. But if it's a chain link fence and a bigger iguana. An iguana that's just barely fitting through, I got a chance to grab it. Well, man, I'm gonna say one thing, man. That's I put it, give it to you right there. That's a hats off, bro. Like because that's, uh, you know, you just have a good knack of getting them, bro. We were out today too, and you know, you got a good knack of getting them. So that's, you know, that's pretty awesome. It's all about like you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't. It's take. like you want to get so the every time you see it, you go for it. You're just locked into it. You're just locked. He, in. he knows nothing till I'm coming. Fight. Which is rare, mainly in mating season. Yeah. Freeze. Mm hmm. And flight. Notice I do a left to right, and I see now, like his head goes down, and then I decide like, is this guy gonna go straight? Is he turning his head uh, like this so he's gonna turn around? Which way is he gonna go? I have to know what he's gonna do before he makes his move, or doesn't make his move, and I can just grab him. <laughs> Nothing compares to trying to catch an iguana with your bare hands. That's, that's crazy. Like nothing.